Welcome to today's Clash of Clans video. We are back at Town Hall 9 and we're going to show you a strategy which you can use to 3 star any base. It's the only strategy that you need to know. Now we are going to focus on a couple of other very powerful methods as well. One of them you see on the screen right now but in general we'll focus more on one particular strategy, show you a few different variations and a little bit of an extra explanation of it so that you can start three starring pretty much any town hall nine base that you come up against all righty guys let's dive straight into it many of you will have already guessed which strategy we're talking about get it which strategy we're talking about it is the witches they are so powerful at town hall nine you can three star i'm telling you any base with the witches you, it's the only strategy you need to know we are going to show you a few different examples this one here if we pause for a second is definitely the most simplistic way of doing it we have three golems so we have one here we actually have two here but in essence you want three golems at different points of the base followed by your witches behind now what that will do will mean that you have two golems Golems potentially coming around the outside although a lot of the time when you put the jump spell in they will redirect as you see in this one so you have a lot of tankage then you have all of them witches protected and the skeletons basically come forward and do the work the heroes and the bowlers are a big part of this strategy they will help you to gut out the inside of the base but if they don't quite go in this strategy can still work you can still get it done that's something we're going to show you at the end of this video so again looking at this one if we pause for just a second what you will see which is very clear here you need to have access through the base so we have one jump spell at the start that are, that got our troops initially in one jump spell to get through these next few compartments and one jump spell to get to the back end of the base so in this one we actually used three jump spells a lot of the time you don't need three if you're looking at bases and you only need two jump spells to get from one side of the base to the other then that is fantastic just take a heal and a rage alongside a poison however getting to the other end of the base is the most important thing so if you need to sacrifice a spell use any of them to get that other jump spell in there however probably the heal will be the best one to keep if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe for all of my clash of clans videos if you hit the notification bell as well you'll become part of the notification squad and you'll get to see my videos as soon as they go live so the witch attack is something that if you're new to town hall 9 you need to be practicing it you'll be able to wipe bases with it however there's a couple of other very strong strategies and as you get further into the game these are definitely more recommended to be practicing and the reason for that is yes they are more technical but they will transfer into town hall 10 11 12 a lot easier the first one here probably the best one in my opinion Opinion to be learning the lava loon now a few different points that are relevant for all of these are the kill squad the tankage you can see the golems tanked initially and they've both essentially came in so we've wiped out all of these buildings so that our troops have came into the base here we're taking out the enemy cc and we are taking out the enemy queen alongside two air defense now at town hall 9 it's a little bit more simplistic you don't have to worry about infernal towers eagle artillery anything like that so your main kill squad will be for the queen cc and whatever air defense you can get but before the Lalo comes in, look, look at what is taken. We've taken this entire area out. And as you can see, we can now come around behind the sweeper from this top section. That's a pretty epic sweeper. It was pointing over to the right. Now it's back across to the left. You're going to go down, my friend. Down it goes. And as we come into the middle, look at them bowlers. Again, if you can protect them, they are going to wreck the middle of a Town Hall 9 base. If you don't have bowlers, I'd probably recommend something which goes alongside your strategy. Whether that's for the Witch Attack, you can actually use a Maxed Golem, or you could use Valkyries, 
or in terms of hog riders lava loon you could take maximum hog riders you could take the maximum loons take whatever you can that best um implements is best implemented in your strategy is what i'm trying to say we get a lot of comments down in the comment section obviously at town hall nine what else can i take instead of bowlers the example is simple if you want to do the same job of the bowlers take the valks however it's not just the bowlers are the best they can be put into any strategy but depending on the strategy you're using in terms of max troops that you can get in that cc you might be better off taking something else instead of the bowlers i hope that makes sense moving on to the next one though talking about hog riders this is the next strategy that i would recommend knowing these three strategies are definitely the top three town hall nine strategies in the game by far now all of these attacks I haven't mentioned so far, they're all by Feederways, and if you're interested in joining Feederways, part of the UK War Alliance, or any of the other clans in the UK War Alliance, join my Discord. The link is in the description, and you can go ahead and check that out. You can also just join my community, have a little bit of a chat and some help about the game. In this one, though, we use the Queen Charge very nicely to actually take out this area of the base. Very, very effective. Because as you can see, the jump spell then puts us right into the middle. We've actually taken out that top area. Now with the Lalo, with the Hog Riders, it has to be worked differently to the Witch Attacks. Now the reason for that is the Hog Riders and the Balloons, they target defences. The Witches target everything. So what you want to do with the Witches, we'll come back to it. You want to sweep from one side of the base to the other. With the Hog Riders and the Lalo, you want to cut an area of the base out like we've done here then you can see the hog riders will travel around the base like so there's nowhere else for them to go they will leave all of the trash buildings that's why you then have the cleanup troops coming in so again main things you want to take out are the queen and the cc At town hall 9 that is the main factors queen cc carve an area of the base you should be able to hog the base from there guys and as you can see blasted this town hall nine make sure you are keeping an eye on any of the builder huts you saw in the corner there the cleanup troops get them in right behind the hog riders the lalo the hog riders and the witches are the three attacks you need to know but i did title this video the only town hall nine attack you need to know i just wanted to feature these two because they are very powerful and yes if you learn all three of them there's definitely not a town hall nine base you can't take Witches then, let's move back to it. They're the best. The best strategy, and the reason I say they're the best is because they're very simple to use. If you're a new Town Hall 9 player, you can get the hang of this in like a couple of friendly challenges. That's how simplistic it is. But the Lava Loon's definitely more powerful when you get the hang of it, if that makes sense, guys. Have a look at this base. If we pause real quick, look at the spell composition at the bottom. We actually only have two jumps for this one. So one gets us in initially. Don't even bother with wall breakers and things. You don't need to complicate the attack. Gets them into this large compartment here okay once they get into there a jump spell here will give them access right the way through to the back end of the base they don't get access into them final compartments but they can shoot each and every defense which is there there's not a defense that they can't reach so only two jump spells is necessary plus what you're doing is having witches come around the outside on either side of the base when the rest of your troops are in the middle and they will actually then shoot over when they get to the back end of the base in order to hit the defenses as well so two jumps poison on the cc there obviously our queen is going to help with that the heal spell is necessary for the bowlers in the middle the bowlers you want to try and keep alive you can see we already used the heal spell they did take a bit of damage from the giant bomb but they soldier on now this strategy can be used without maxed level heroes everyone says you know can i use this strategy without 30 30 heroes the the answer is always yes it is always yes but if you're going up against a maxed level base it's not that you can't take it out i mean look at some of these attacks some of them are so powerful but it's going to be more difficult of course it is if you're going up against maxed defenses and you don't have maxed troops it's going to be harder now it might work but it might not getting down to the end of it the middle of the base is gone 
All of the troops in the middle go down for this one, but that's where the witches on the outside will help out. As you can see, we've actually got three witches on either side. That is more than enough. We've still got the healers, and that is another thing you can do with this strategy. You can have healers to protect your witches on the outside. Now, in the next attack, I'll explain exactly what it is about the healers and why you might want to take them. Let's fast forward through the end of this. This can often happen as well, guys. You can get to the end of the attack and it can really look like your troops are going down, but all of a sudden, you might only have a few witches, but in only a few defenses left, you're going to be able to just spawn them skeletons over and over again and all of a sudden you're just overwhelming the rest of the base moving on to the next one massive shout out to the town hall nines in this video tiny here getting it done again using the healers why does he use the healers well basically whenever you use the healers it's if the witches are going to be at danger on the outside here and basically, if you are out of the range of air defense, so you can see on this one, all of the air defense are pretty central to the base. This bottom one might be able to just clip the healers if we're walking down this way, but by the time our middle troops are in, you got to remember, our witches would be down here somewhere before the healers ever got in range, and the troops in the middle will have wiped out that air defense long before our healers get there. So this is a good base to use the healers. There's nothing going to take the healers out and even just two healers on either side you can see the amount of help it will do again there's that one jump spell with the rage and the heal this is generally what you do as well rage spell i'll pause it again for a second just so you can see this rage spell is used relatively early on that's to get maximum benefit you can wipe out a lot of these defenses very quickly and also it helps you get through the cc troops poison onto them then once you've gone through the rage and you're getting just about to the middle of the base you have the heal spell in front of that that means that all of your troops when they get to the middle of the base are full health pretty much and that's generally speaking yes it changes depending on splash damage in the middle of the base you can see the dragon there has absolutely crushed us in the middle of the base because our queen has walked and that's what i was saying before i'm going to show you an example where if you don't quite get it right i'm not going to say it doesn't matter because it does we could have very easily failed but this is how strong the strategy is. You can still get this done. So look at the middle of the base here. You've got to think all of this would be out. All of this would be gone. The queen walked and it meant that the dragon was still alive and basically shredded our troops. It doesn't matter how many heal spells we had in there. Bowlers can't throw the balls up at the dragon. They're down. They're out. That's what happened. Get that funnel right. Get that queen in there. Even if you have to delay on them middle troops a little bit, let the witches on the outside. You start on the outside. Let them do their job. Then you then deploy on the inside. And make sure your jump spell is there quick enough to give you access. That means that, again, we were talking about the spells, weren't we? You can shred the middle of the base. And if we look here... Wow. This base was crushed had the troops have gone into the middle. And that's how powerful the strategy is. Even if something goes wrong, you can hopefully have more than enough left in order to come into the middle and get it done. Save onto your queen's ability. That's the top tip for the end of this video. If you've made it to the end, put down in the comments. Hashtag save the queen's ability. That's the final tip for today's video. With the golems, with the witches and skeletons, you should be able to save onto that queen's ability for when you really need it, which as you can see on this one was right at the end. That is going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Until next time, peace out.